Political analysts are joining us this morning to weigh in on the debate last night, plus the upcoming contest in South Carolina here in California and then 13 other states along with us on next Tuesday. Ricardo Perez on the Democratic side, Kathy Abernathy on the Republican side. Thank you both so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank hey, you. Kathy, let's start with you. I heard you uh, kind of laughing at that tweet just a moment ago. Uh, let's just get your reaction to uh, last night's debate. Well, several things, several things hit me. One, Bernie Sanders, uh, first thing he's going to do is legalize marijuana, and then he's going to make sure that Hispanics and blacks run marijuana shops. I mean, is that his goal for people? You know, President Trump uh, talks about employment and how low the unemployment is for those minorities. But could they maybe become scientists or doctors or teachers? Uh, running marijuana shops is the goal. I mean, they, I guess all these years, Bernie Sanders has been pushing them to own, you know, cigarette shops and alcohol. Uh, liquor stores. I thought that was really uh, pathetic that that was an agenda item of, of a candidate running for president of the United States to make sure our minorities run marijuana shops. But that's where this, this group is. Um, I also thought it was something else to hear that uh, they're all worried that Kevin McCarthy might be Speaker of the House if they run someone like Bernie Sanders. I thought that was great news to hear. We did hear, hear uh, <laughs> Pete Buttigieg talk about that last night, yes. All right, uh, Ricardo, I just want to ask you, right now it's looking as if Klobuchar, Buttigieg, and Biden are all trying to vie for that more uh, centrist vote on the Democratic Party. If they all stay in it, does that give Bernie Sanders a clear path to the nomination? Um, it could, actually, because it's splitting the vote between the three moderates. You know, when the more candidates we have, the, the less chances that, you know, any of those one are going to get ahead. Uh, I think for the most part, though, Senator Sanders' agenda is something that a lot of Americans can get behind. It's energizing a lot of the electorate. It's bringing out new people, young voters. Um, so I think that, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Senator Sanders might still do well. A lot of, though, Democrats fear that he could be a danger to down-ticket Democrats uh, if he is the nominee for president. Uh, I'm not entirely sure that that's necessarily true. Uh, again, the, the agenda that we're, we're seeing with President or, uh, Senator Sanders is, is one that uh, is going to bring out new people. It's one that is going to provide Medicare for all. Um, we're pushing for having everyone insured. Um, and in fact, it's going to be a way for us to save money if we have single payer. Now, we've got Super Tuesday coming up in, uh, in, in less than a week now. Mm -hmm. uh, that is going to be, there's a lot of states up for grabs here. About a third of the country is going to be voting on Super Tuesday. Do you think that Biden has a chance of going on continuing his campaign if he does not uh, do well on Tuesday? If he does not do well, he probably won't have really a, a good of a chance. Um, he's banking on the fact that he has a strong support group uh, in African Americans in South Carolina. And I think that's going to be the true test. If he doesn't do well uh, on Saturday in South Carolina, I'm not sure that he can do well uh, on Tuesday. On Tuesday. Okay. Uh, I got to ask you really quick uh, because we do have Super Tuesday coming up and there's a lot of, uh, this is going to be one of the big tests here in this primary. You've got on the stage, you had candidates yesterday, last night talking about, I mean, even Amy Klobuchar was talking about how uh, divisive the party was up there and talking about how if they, the Democratic Party, continues to uh, wrestle with, with each other, then Trump is going to be elected for four more years. So you have someone who is more of a moderate, seen as more of a moderate, and then you have someone like Bernie Sanders, Elizabeth Warren, who are more left-leaning. Um, do you think that President Trump has more of a challenge if someone like a moderate goes up with him, against him, in the November election? Well, being a moderate in the Democratic Party right now is still way left of America. I mean, they're all pushing for more spending, more government programs, and most of America pretty much had it with how much tax they're already paying, but none of those candidates have ever had an agenda that doesn't include raising taxes, more money spent by the government. So. I don't think any of them pull far enough to the middle to be a, any kind of a challenge to, to President Trump. Um, also, I think that the, some of the landmark symbols of the Democratic Party has been abortion. Wasn't it interesting last night that uh, Elizabeth Warren, uh, who's an advocate of it, paid for by the government, free and safe for everyone, uh, complaining that uh, one of the candidates brought up the abortion option to uh, one of their employees, and she's making that a big, but that's, that's been a landmark of the Democratic Party. I, I just think the issues of the Democrats right now are so extreme and not in the mainstream. Most people are real happy that they're working, getting a paycheck, uh, being off welfare, taking care of themselves, and maybe becoming something through school. 
bigger than running a marijuana store. And yet, though, the candidate seen mm. as the most extreme, Bernie Sanders, right now, uh, pointed out last night that there are several national polls that have him beating President Trump if he were to go up against him in the general right. election. Right. All kinds of polls out there. I find it hard to believe. I think the Democrat uh, strategists have been all over the television talking about don't do Bernie. But uh, I, I'm OK with any candidate they come up with. I think Trump's got an agenda that he can be very proud of. People support, people are happy. They're happy right now, the economy's going well. Uh, so I know that Democrats would kind of like to see the t economy tank because that makes it harder on an incumbent. But let's hope that uh, the, the things continue to go as they have. No, I gotta ask you, Ricardo, because again, uh, we've got Super Tuesday coming up. Who do you think are, what do you think this uh, party is gonna look like or the candidates are gonna look like after Tuesday? Do you think we're gonna see most of them drop out? Um, I certainly hope that most of them drop out. Why I think so? We need to unite and really bring together the party. Um, we, we do have a little bit of a fracture, but I think that at the end of the day, the democratic agenda of supporting working class families, of giving the women, uh, women the right to choose, um, even um, something like immigration, the, the democratic agenda is something that we want to push for. Uh, and I think that most Americans want to see, and especially with, with healthcare. Uh, we have families here that are choosing to go to pay gas or pay for, for their child's medical bills. Um, I think this is something that we can really Really galvanize the party nationwide. Who do you see the party uniting behind by next Wednesday? By next Wednesday, I think that we have a pretty good chance of uniting behind Bernie Sanders. He's won already three of the of the states, the first contest. Uh, you know, he's likely going to do well in South Carolina. So I think that with uh, this progressive movement and this agenda of supporting working class families, um, we're going to be able to see that outcome. What if a candidate, a more moderate candidate, does come v out victorious in these uh, after Super Tuesday and really gains that lead? Do you think that the Democratic Party is going to struggle going forward, especially those young voters that are really backing up this progressive movement? Or do you think it is going to still be that is going to be a, the, the nominee? You know, I think it's really interesting that we talk about having these moderate uh, candidates running. We're not entirely a, a leftist party. A true leftist party would mean that the workers are seizing the means of production, right? What we're trying to do is uh, have families not go medically in debt and, and, and die from not having health insurance. I think that. Uh, for the most part, either candidate that comes out victorious next week is going to be able to unite uh, Democrats from all walks of life and then also independent voters as well. All right, well, we have a lot to talk about going into next week. You will be joining us both on Tuesday and Wednesday here on Sunrise and on, I believe, all of our other platforms as well. So we will see you then. Thank you so much for coming Thank in this you. morning. We appreciate it. Thanks.